the science shows that with fire stations placed where they are, we're only going to achieve survivability rates that are, you know, in the 20 to 40, 50 percent. But by leveraging the population, we think we can go much higher and save more lives in our community. Pulse Point is one of the most important situational awareness tools that we have. Its primary design and, and purpose is to allow citizen responders in a public setting to intervene in a life-threatening emergency. The reason we got this app was to save lives, that when we had incidents that involved a cardiac arrest in a public setting, we could mobilize and utilize citizen responders, your average layperson who knew how to do CPR, to intervene and hopefully stop the clock so that we could get uh, defibrillators and advanced life support stuff to the scene. And as they're doing CPR, that allows us uh, you know, a, a greater chance to allow that person to survive. Verified Responder allows us to subscribe our off-duty firefighters to notify them of all CPRs, regardless of whether they're in a public or a private space, ahead of our response and help save even more lives. With Pulse Point and Verified Responder, what you end up with is, for our department, 400 available people that are on and off duty that can go to 911 calls when CPR is needed. And time is muscle with, with a cardiac event, uh, as well as brain function. The incident that I was involved in happened at, uh, when I was working out of the gym, and I was listening to some streaming music on my uh, iPhone, and the tone went off. I never heard before. It was Pulse Point saying CPR was needed. I was able to look at my phone and follow Google Maps outside, and I was able to see Drew uh, in his car, uh, unconscious, not breathing, no pulse. I removed him from his car, started CPR, uh, made sure that 911 had been called, and uh, waited for uh, police and EMS to arrive to assist with the cardiac event. If Scott hadn't have been there, I wouldn't be alive right now. I was at my five minute mark of not breathing. And I'm so thankful for Scott being there. I'm leaving proof that it works. The International Association of Fire Chiefs and Pulse Point began their partnership almost organically. That Pulse Point has a product that contributes to the saving of lives and community, and that's, that's a fundamental mission of all fire departments. We have the audience of people who are public safety professionals in cities big and small across not only the country, but it, for an international audience. And so the partnership uh, is something that just makes sense for both parties and will ultimately save lives and add to the situational awareness of communities. I think fire chiefs have an obligation to stay in touch with technology and to leverage opportunities like Pulse Point to, to work smarter, that, that with resources being finite, we have to leverage every opportunity we can find to save lives. In this case, it's harnessing the ability and the willingness of our citizens. And that's a huge win uh, to anybody and to any community. It's natural for fire chiefs to look at Pulse Point as a tool to improve cardiac arrest survivability. To look at it just as that, though, is a mistake. Pulse Point should be seen as a best practice, as something that is a tool to improve the, the level of education in your community, the level of education within your elected public officials so that they know what the fire department's up to. Way too few of our citizens understand the wide spectrum of calls that we go on and the frequency that we respond to emergencies. Pulse Point solves that, and so it's a wonderful tool for fire chiefs to leverage, to enhance their visibility in the community.